Hello everybody. Welcome to Builder Buy. Today we're going to build a Threadripper 3. Are you guys as excited as we are? I tell you, I'm stoked. This has been long overdue. So what we're going to do with this, this is not going to be the actual build, but what we have to do first step is first. This is an unboxing, inspection, and inventory. So I don't have any gloves on. I'll be okay with this. We've got to get this thing out and see what we've got. We're going to have a motherboard. We're going to have a box inside the box with the motherboard with all the parts and goodies. Now, the only thing that I would consider a deal killer is if somebody has messed with the socket where the CPU is at. Everything else, I'm copacetic with that. Let's get an overhead shot. And the unboxing. We have the CPU cooler. Pull that out. And that's a Noctua. Comes with one fan. And we have the motherboard. We'll get that out. Gosh almighty, that's a big board. So there's our motherboard. I don't know about you guys, but I'm stoked. Okay, what we're going to do is open this up, inventory the parts. I need to set the cooler side because everything right now needs to be about the motherboard. Now, I want to say right quick when, before I open this, for those of you that have been wondering about the case we're going to use, the one that was banging for the buck, the one that we're all about, even though it's a five-year-old case, the Corsair 750D Airflow. I'm just saying. Uh, this is the highest-end system we've built, so... You know, I wanted to examine all the options. Had a guy told me one time, he said, Gil, you need to do possibility thinking because you don't want to leave any stone unturned. So that way when you settle on what you've done, you're not wondering about what you could have done or what you might have done. You know what you've done, that you made the right choice. So anybody that's getting ready to build one of these systems, and this is the TRX-40 Designare. This is Gigabyte. We're getting ready to build a Threadripper 3. So let's open up. Now what I've done... I've taken the liberty of going ahead and downloading the PDF file, so I'm going to bring that up on another screen and show you an inventory of what we need to be looking at and comparing to what's in here. So as we go through this, we're on the same page. So let's take a look. Okay, we're going to have the motherboard, a motherboard driver disk, a user manual, a quick install guide, and here's some of the really cool stuff about this. I want to tell you right there, I've mentioned this before, but out of the 13 or 14 motherboards, 13 that we're aware of, there are only five TRX-40 motherboards that include a PCI Express version 4 that includes some type of quad card. So that's a, that's a big deal. Now, one of the motherboards that are not in this 5, which is an ASUS, will let you put five NVMe drives on the motherboard. It does not have the card. But in addition to that add-in card, which is uh, their flavor of a quad card, which is an acronym brand name, but generically, we're going to be looking at a lot of quad cards. So once we get this built, so we can look at PCI Express 3 versus PCI Express 4, there's a PCI Express 3 card included with this, which is Thunderbolt 3. Of the 13 or 14 TRX-40 motherboards, only one has support for Thunderbolt 3 on the Titan Ridge chipset. That card is in this box. So there's two I.O. cards. So if anybody says this board's expensive, this board's the best bang for the buck. And I want to tell you, once we inventory this, I want to cut to the chase right now. You've got to build with the minimum amount of components in there because we need to check this and make sure everything is functioning. And then we add and we build up to what we want it to be. If we put everything in and we have problems, then we've got to pull stuff out. And that's an absolute no-no. So I just want to tell you right now, of all the years of experience we've had building computers, as far back as we go, keep it simple. There's a reason for it. So let's get to it. So we have the RS Generation 4 AIC adapter, which is an add-in card. And that's the equivalent of the ASUS card. ASUS now has three uh, HyperQuad cards. Two of them are PCI Express 3 version 1 and 2, and one is PCI Express. We're going to be looking at that card as well. And the other card, as I just mentioned, is the Titan Ridge card. That's Thunderbolt 3. A one Wi-Fi antenna, four SATA cables, one addressable LED strip adapter, one LED RGB strip extension cable, two thermistor cables, I want to take the moment to make the point right now. Those thermistors are extremely important because the case comes with three pin fans. We're going to be, and most all cases do. Those that don't, but the case we're going to use has three pin fans. So we're going to pull those fans out. And since we're using a Noctua cooler, we're going to put in Noctua cooling fans in the case. Those will be four pin fans. These thermistors sitting in the motherboard BIOS will be able to control all those fans from the motherboard with those thermistors, so we'll point them to where the hot spots are going to be. That's important to know. So two thermistors, put them where the places are the hottest, probably uh, around the video card. The other might be around the NVMe, could be the boot drive, could be the add-in NVMe card. We'll have to figure that out. One G connector, and I've had this question come up before, so I'll take a moment. This G connector is something that ASUS started. That little spot where you have all those multi-cables that plug into the front of the motherboard, 
Well, that's a multi-pin connector that lets you plug that stuff in so you can plug it in where you can see it. Then you plug it into the motherboard. They're a hassle. If you want to play with one of those, more power to you. We did that with the Asus motherboards, and it was uh, more hassle than it was worth. But that's what a G connector is. It allows you to take all those little cables, which is for power button, reset button, hard drive, LED, that kind of stuff. That goes on that. That's what you're plugging in. And the last but not least, the M.2 screws, the M.2 standoffs. Those um, might be on the motherboard. I don't know. They may be in a bag, more than likely. We'll see when we get this off. There's going to be heat sinks where NVMe drives go. We're going to install one, the default, which will be under the video card. And when we get to the point where we install a video card, and when we're dealing with the memory and the cooler, we're going to show you that cooler, and we're going to look at that with an endoscope so you can see how that all fits under there. And we're going to piece this out so you can watch the section you want. And if you don't want to repeat anything or you don't want to see anything twice, that's your call. So we'll keep this all separate. But remember, this is about unboxing, inspection, and inventory. And we're going through the parts list right now. We're leaving that cover on. And the CPU looks like it's intact. That's my number one concern. So all we need to do is reach in there gingerly and pull that out. It's a heavy board. So there's the motherboard. And inside, we'll find our goodies. That's one I.O. card. That's cables, which means the other I.O. card, that would be the Thunderbolt 3 card, which means the, pull the manual out. Yep, there it is. That's the Gigabyte card. That's the Gigabyte quad card for NVMe drives. We're going to do that in a separate video. We don't need to pull those out. All we need is the crucial stuff for this build right now. So that will be underneath this little guy right here. We'll get our installation guide out, and we'll get our user manual out. Set both those aside. And over here, we're going to need the stuff in this box. So if there's any way we could stack these two, that would really be nice. The driver's disc should be right here. Manual, and there's the driver disc. Okay, we'll want to keep that in a safe, quiet place. I don't know if this will let us put this over here, but it'd sure be nice. Nope, it will not. Okay. So we're going to have to have eventually this out. So that documentation will go right there. Cables we don't need. What I'm looking for are connectors that deal with the motherboard. I'm looking for those screws. There should be a bag of them in here. So now that's a cable. It's actually a video cable. This video cable goes from uh, display port to um, mini display port, which is for the Thunderbolt. I'm just saying. And there's the G connector. You get a picture of that. And that is a USB 2 cable that we'll need for the Thunderbolt card. That, both of those are for Thunderbolt. And that's a thermistor. You see that little right there. There's two thermistors in here. That's the other thermistor. That is a lighting cable, I believe. A lighting extension cable. Lighting extension cable. SATA cables. SATA cables. One straight, one right angle. One straight, one right angle. There's our antenna, and there's our other display port to mini display port cable, which is for the Thunderbolt card. That is the extension cable for lights. Here we are, right in the very bottom. All these little bags of screws. All these screws are individually bagged. One, two, three. There's a standoff. There's another little screw. So that makes four. One, two, three four standoffs. So four standoffs and four screws individually bagged. These screws we're going to need. So these I'm going to keep out because that's part of the inventory. Now, what I want to do is get all these cables that I don't need that I will use later and put them back in the box. They're not, they're important, but they're not important right now. Everything is here uh, just by quick inventory. The two thermistors, I'm going to also put them back in. I will need them eventually. And we will put the Thunderbolt card back where it goes which is above all that stuff. So I'm good with the inventory, and I don't need to take anything else out. I don't want to get those cards out and mess with them until I'm ready, until I'm suited up. I'll put the gloves on. I'll get the anti-static strap. I'm plugged into the wall. I'll be locked in. I'll be good to go. So that's an unboxing, inventory, and inspection. Okay, that can go like that for now. So next, coming up, we're going to build. Are you guys ready? Let's go to the build. <laughs> 